Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Professional. Uh, this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. And today's topic is the next part in our uh, Financial Insight series. So today we are going to discuss about this external data and what if analysis is cash flow forecast. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. So if you just recap what we have been discussing in this particular series is we have been talking about the financial insight features, <coughs> which is like we have three major features in the system. Customer payment prediction, intelligent cash flow forecast, and the budget proposal. And we have completed the payment prediction. We completed one part of the intelligent cash flow. And now we are going to talk about the second part on the intelligent cash flow forecast. Just a quick recap. If you are going to enable and use this particular feature, you need to understand the basic traditional cash flow forecast enable the process automation, uh, refresh your entity store, train your model, which require at least a thousand transactions in last two years and hundred transaction or more transactions spend more than a year if you want to utilize this forecasting tool. So you need to keep in mind that you have all these prerequisites trend. And then we understood about the concept about cash position and the cash forecast. And today we are going to explore the external data how it plays the important role in your intelligent cash flow forecast. So today we are going to talk about this external data. So often it is it happens that if you look at the cash flow forecast mechanism, you will have the data within the FNO from your purchase transactions or the sales transaction or the receipts and the payments which you are having. What but what 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 it is also important that many times it happens that organization do have their external data uh, in different systems or possibly in an Excel spreadsheet or somewhere which they want to merge on top of this information which you have within the D65 and do the forecasting. Now it was not possible earlier in the in D65 but now you can import that data using this financial insight external data uh, in cash flow forecast and how you do it is that you have the, the cash flow forecast external shows entry data entity and then you can set up the sources and then you set up legal entities and then you have these columns in that data entity so you have an entry id which should be the unique so you can put something i'll show you the the sample data which i have imported then description is optional. Then you select the source which you have configured here in the configuration. Then the legal entity and the date is important. Uh, amount is important. The currency is important. And after that default dimensions, document number, account number like a customer account or the name are the optional thing. But if you want to put it, uh, you can add that information in your data. Now, so before I go to uh, the, before I go and talk about the Excel template, but let's look at the configurations which you need to do. So you go to cash and bank and cash flow forecast where you set up your traditional cash uh, forecasting configurations. Then here you have got something called as external source additionally. Now here you define the name, which is your inflow or the outflow I have just given and the description. And then you say that it should be incoming or outgoing cash flow forecasting. And then the posting type, you can define the liquidity. And then in the bottom, you need to define for which legal entity and which liquidity account it should be using for importing this data and then further analyzing in the system. So this is your basic configuration, which you need to do in the system. And now once this is done, uh, you can potentially go to your data management and then import the data uh, using that data entity. So first let me show you the template and then I'll show you the import process. So if you look at this Excel file, I have imported this. So entry ID, as I said, it is uh, unique. It should be unique for each row you should define. So I've just created like some random unique id out zero zero one two three four five then all these are optional columns which you have it but then the 
legal entity is mandatory for you to have then the external source name this comes from your the, the legal entity where you have configured so what is the source name basically let me show you which you have yeah so here you have inflow and outflow name so you need to define that outflow or inflow name here uh, what you have uh, uh, configured then the amount which you want to add to that thing and then the currency and then the transaction date where you want to add this amount so once you have this information ready you can go to data import export framework data management add this particular data entity and then once that data entity is there then you can import this data here now once the data is imported uh, i can go to my cash flow forecast thing and i can look at like if i go to my cash position itself so you will be able to see the information the transaction data which is available with the name of inflow and the outflow so you see the cash cash uh, 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 not here i think cash flow let me look at yeah i think it is not reflecting here possibly let me look at this one yeah it should be available here but if it is not then the other way of doing that is you can add the existing external data here or you can edit this data so let's look at whether we have that data here so i can just simply uh, download this uh, excel like a open in excel so let me do that first so i'll download so if you look at this i have downloaded this and this has given me the data which i have imported so so we have that data available in our uh, the cash inflow outflow the positioning which we are having which is based on this particular account which we have added so if i want to edit that data and uh, publish it back so let's say if i want to uh, change it to some big amount so i can just do that so let's say i want to do this and then i can just simply click on the publish and it is going to be published and then it will start reflecting in some time my the data which i have it i have imported here yeah so this is how you can uh, add your external data or edit your uh, external data in the system now the last thing which the concept which i'm going to talk about which you have available in this is about the snapshots so snapshots is nothing but when you want to do the comparison between two cash positions or the cash forecast so let's say i have a cash forecast which is last year uh, this quarter uh, same quarter and this current year i want to have the, the cash forecast i have available and now i want to compare that or i have a projected forecast for the next quarter or next year and i want to compare this with the current one right so how do you do that so what you first thing is you can create the snapshot on your cash position or at or in your cash forecast both so let's say i want to create a new position so i'm saying uh, let's say if i change the date from let's try this so i want to do this for let's say for starting with august or not august the quarter will start my like first is this july yeah so let's say i have this quarter or let's say two quarter three quarters starting from this and i can create this uh, snapshot and i can give it give it a name july 24 three quarters for three quarters uh, i have the snapshot so this is what is my snapshot so i can just save this here yeah so this is done right and now i go again and what i want to do i want to change this to 25 as a cash position let's say or not on 25 let's say if i want to change it from the december onwards so i change it to december and again i want to do the three quarter from the december yeah and i do the quarterly forecast not 25 24 and this is what i want to do it now i can create a new snapshot for this so i can say december 24 three quarter cash position which i have it yeah 
so i can save this particular cache position as well so this is how you can create the snapshots now then i can have these uh, snapshots which are available here and i can then uh, compare them with 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 the data which i am having in the system so it gives me the comparison with the actuals of those snapshots so i have the forecasted data now that forecasted data for this uh, thing i am going to compare with my actuals which i am having in the system so that is how you can create the different snapshots and then you can even uh, compare with your actuals which are having in the system and see that what deviation you are getting in the uh, in the in the system so that's it for this particular video uh, the objective of this particular series is to making you aware about these new capabilities which are based on ai ml apart from the so called copilot capabilities which we are having in the system but also some on the machine learning and the forecasting side which we have which can uh, really help our customer to to enhance their ca existing capabilities and the business operations uh, uh through the dynamics 365 so hope this helps you to understand the concepts and things are available you can go explore by yourself put more data do more uh, uh, uh testing on this and, and 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 explore that that's it for this video uh thank you for watching and see you in the next one